if you sell on Amazon and you want to make more money through advertising, this is a quick and effective way that you can do that. It's by taking the keywords that your competitors rank for and running ads for those. The, uh, the setting for this story. I chose the bamboo cutting board niche, specifically bundles of multiple bamboo cutting boards. And I want you to imagine that there are two characters in this story, okay? This is us. Say, for example, this is a relatively new listing of ours. We've only got the seven reviews. It's a bundle of bamboo cutting boards. We have invested the money in building up our listing. Um, you know, we've got some built out bullet points. We're here to compete. We got the coupon even. But it's a relatively new listing, low number of reviews. We got to get that average up as well. It's just tough luck when you have so few reviews, one, one review can really sink it. But we have this as our, as our listing and we want to get ahead, but how, right? We have to look at someone who is currently a bit ahead of us in this niche for this tactic to work. We're going to look at Smurly. Now, <laughs> Smurly is the uh, default, uh, you know, product of choice for bamboo cutting board sets. Uh, they've got the stand. They've got an excellent listing with some infographics. They've got some lifestyle images. They've got the video, a ton of reviews. And so when a listing is mature like this and it's getting a ton of sales, no doubt Amazon has also indexed or ranked this product for many keywords organically. You can be sure of that. So what I want you to do is take a competitor that's well established and uh, entrenched. The more entrenched, the better in your niche. And we're gonna, just going to take their ASIN code. Okay. Um, start All the ASINs start with B0. So I'm just going to copy and paste it from the browser here. You can see it's this uh, section of the URL here ending in V. M6. And I'm going to put it in a reverse ASIN lookup tool. In this particular case, I'm going to use the reverse ASIN lookup tool from Helium 10, but all of the software suites, Jungle Scout, I'm sure a few of the others have reverse ASIN lookup tools. So you can use whatever suite you're comfortable with. Uh, but uh, the philosophy behind the reverse ASIN lookup tools is they're going to take the ASIN of the entrenched strong competitor that you give them, and they're going to give you a list of all of the keywords that that competitor is already ranking for so that you can take those relevant ones and put it in your advertising, Heck, even put it in your listing if you feel like you've missed something during your initial listing optimization. So let's get into it. Here I am. I'm just going to give it the ASIN of our good entrenched competitor. Hit get keywords. It'll take a second to fetch all the indexed keywords. And we'll soon see a list. I'm just going to move over here. And I'm going to expand this out. And the last thing I'm going to do just for some visual clarity is a search by search volume in descending order. Okay, so I'm not particularly interested in these extremely high volume, very broad keywords like cutting board. You know, it's not you, you know, it's, um. this would be like if we were wanting to do mountain climbing, but Mount Kilimanjaro or Mount Everest were our first project. It's just too ambitious for the first time. We've got to work our way up. So I'm more interested in the types of keywords that are slightly more down the list. Um, see here Oop. there we go uh cutting boards for kitchen you'll notice that this is plural and so it will a little bit better align uh with our specific product here um apartment essentials very you know interesting interesting stuff right uh if it's not relevant like if it's you know if it's the glass stuff uh, I wouldn't necessarily do it. New apartment essentials, a lot of apartment stuff, house essentials for home. Very interesting. Um, Epicurean cutting boards might be, unless that's a, uh, unless that's a, a cooking set, maybe. I'm not really going to be interested in, in branded terms either, like terms that uh, um, have other brand names in them, because unless it's our own brand name, it's going to be tricky to, uh, to convert on those um wooden kitchen utensil set maybe if someone was looking for wooden utensils we might be able to get in on that bamboo cutting boards for kitchen 4000 now we're going in descending order but you know i it's nothing to scoff at uh, three or four thousand monthly searches either right and because they're slightly smaller and more long tail they'll be easier for us to run ads for cheaper to run ads for so i'm sort of looking for that sweet spot of a few thousand monthly searches um, but also highly relevant to our product 
uh, so that we are more likely to get those sales. Because the last thing I want you to do is spend money on advertising like 80 cents, a dollar per click on ads, and then not convert the person. That would be counterproductive. You could have all the cool keywords you want, but if you don't convert on them, it doesn't really matter. Right. Uh, and this is just one tactic out of dozens that I've compiled for you. I wrote a free book with everything that you need related to Amazon advertising. So I'm going to drop that in the comments of this video and uh, feel free to get your free copy there. I'll see you on the other side. It's totally free and it's got years and years of Amazon advertising secrets just packed in there. And you can take them, apply them to your business and make more money this month, this week. So I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.